completely out of the rat race here at Lumna Acres, but we are working on it. We are living now in northern New Hampshire at our homestead site that we built in 2015. It's a 32 by 48 house that we built. Bought the property from a foreclosure. It had a burnt down house on it. We keep our chickens on pasture, but as you can see here in the winter time, we get quite a bit of snow. So we need a place for them in the winter. And we keep them inside of our greenhouse. And here we do the deep bedding method. Then we'll have our piglets come in here in the springtime and help turn all this hay and food scraps into compost for us for our spring gardens. Al from Lumna Acres shares with us the story of him and his family uh, purchasing a homestead location. Uh, it was a foreclosed property. They purchased it. They were able to move in and start a farm. And he shares with us some great advice about getting out of debt and building your homestead slowly so as to avoid going back into debt. And stay tuned to the end. I'll share my favorite tip that Al shared with us. I wanted to say hi to all the modern steaders over at Homesteady. Me and Austin have been talking about the mind shift it takes to get out of the rat race and start your modern homestead. I'm Al from Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Here are a few tips that helped us get started in our modern homesteading endeavors. One of my biggest tips is, is get to know Dave Ramsey and learn about debt-free living. Once you have that under your belt, learn also it's a mind shift. You gotta keep changing your pattern thinking so you don't wanna keep going into debt. Like us here, we are building a new homestead. We have a house here behind us. Pluto, come over here. And we have a lot of things we wanna build like barns and infrastructure, but we gotta to learn to take our time and pace ourselves so it doesn't hurt us financially, but also so we build in the right areas. For us, we're using a lot of portable infrastructure right now. We have behind me right here, our winter chicken coop slash greenhouse. And then we have our pig pen behind us that will be moving next year. And we used it here this year because we have our pigs out on pasture and we fence them in, have them work our land for us. So this spring, once the snow melts again, <laughs> We're going to be fencing in over there and having them work in the woods for us. So it's kind of a different mind shift. We don't have any barns here. We would love to, but there's two reasons why we don't. First thing is we, want, we don't want to go in over our head with debt. But also, when you get a new piece of property, especially if you're building on it, stay at the land for a year or two before you start building too much infrastructure. You want to make sure you put the barn and your gardens and all the other big infrastructure you're going to be building in the right spot. You don't want to put a big garden bed in and be like, oh, we don't get enough sun. Or put a barn here and be like, oh, in the springtime, the front of the barn is really muddy. And you're not going to want to move it afterwards. So, so leaving the rat race is a few mind shifts that going debt-free helps you with. Debt-free, when you go debt-free, you, you think more about money and you slow down because you don't want to spend it as fast. But also that'll help you with taking your time and checking your land out and finding what you can build there and what's going to fit that area the best. You know, does that spot stay really cold or does it warm up quicker in the spring so it's better for planting there? Does it get wet in the spring? Just all those simple little questions you won't know until you spent a year or two on your property. So I know you asked for one tip, Austin, but I guess mine's kind of a two-part one. Stay away from debt and portable infrastructure is your friend. Learn to use it and stay away from getting into the mindset that you need a big old barn. You don't always need that. It might be nice, but you can do without it for a while and learn the lay of your land. It was nice seeing everybody over here at Homesteady. Thanks for having us. And we'd like to invite you over to our channel, Lumna Acres, a guide for modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, freedom. We'll see you over there. My favorite tip that Al shared with us is using small portable infrastructure instead of investing a lot of money in barns so as to avoid getting into debt. This is something we're doing here at our homestead. When we first moved in, everything was small, either existing buildings that we used or small infrastructure that we built ourselves. I have plans to build a big barn here. I would love to have a big barn with a 
homestead kitchen out there and maybe a walk-in freezer, a place to park a couple machines. But that's gonna cost a lot of money. And so I'm taking Al's advice and I'm trying to save up, instead of going into debt to build this barn, I wanna pay for the barn in cash. Great advice, Al. For any of you watching who wanna leave the rat race, make sure to take Al's advice. Stay out of debt and keep it that way as you continue escaping the rat race and living your homestead dream. There's more videos in this series, so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on the other videos to come. If you like this series, please share it with a friend. 